Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough from Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way book. I'm looking at the book here at his website, learnpythonthehardway.org. You can see the whole text there for free. We're going to be working with one of the exercises in sort of a subcategory, an appendix called the Command Line Crash Course. Um, to get to it, first come to learnpythonthehardway.org, then click on this, which will take you to the table of contents, and we are going down here to the last one, Appendix A, the Command Line Crash Course. And when you click on that, it'll take you here to that table of contents, and we are looking at number eight, which is moving around push D and pop D. If you click on that, it's going to take you right here. This one, I have to tell you, it does get confusing, and um, it's not stuff that you would necessarily have to do all the time. You know, the, the change directory is, is constant, and the listing files is, is common. This one, a little, little more specialized. But anyhow, what we're going to do is start by, well, we're going to follow Zed's directions. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change to our temp directory. Now, from the last exercise, well, really from the first exercise, I've got the temp directory here that I created within my root folder, or my home folder. That's BART on my Mac. And we had other directories in temp, but we got rid of them all when we did the remove directory exercise. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change directory to temp. So CD is for change directory, or it means go to this folder. And uh, if you're going to just one level below where you are right now, so I'm going from BART to temp, I don't have to specify anything other than CD and temp. Uh, so I'll hit return. And you'll be glad to know I make mistakes. It turns out I'm already in temp, so that doesn't work. So I'm just going to go back to the root folder. I'm going to do CD uh, tilde, and now I'm back at the root folder. And so if I want to go to temp, yeah, I can even just do the up line. I did the up arrow twice to get to that one. Okay, just so you know, sometimes you screw up. It's because I wasn't checking where I was, which is why Zed always tells us to do the PWD print working directory so you know where you are. Anyhow, uh, the second line in Zed's instructions, that's this line over here, is to make directory. Now, we're actually going to make several nested directories. We use the mkdir, that's the command for making a directory or, or creating a folder, and the, the, um, the dash p or hyphen p, it creates parents, it creates the entire path to the last one we need. So I can go like this. I'm in temp and I can do i, it's going to be the name of the first folder or the first directory, like is the second, and ice cream is the third. So what it's going to do is going to create this whole series of nested folders. So let's come down here just for a second. You see that there's nothing in temp right now. I come up here and I press the button. And now you see in temp we have I like ice cream. They're all there. They all got created at once. Okay, this is where we start uh, messing around with things a little bit. Let's do a print working directory. Now you see that we're still in temp. I've created the other ones, but I haven't shifted over. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this directory, the ice cream, and I'm going to push it. And so it goes into a list of directories. So I'm going to go push D. By the way, push and pop show up in a lot of different places. It's a way of creating sort of a stack or a list of things that you're dealing with. And we're going to be using the principle here of uh, last in, first out. Everything is sort of stacked on the top in front of it. And you have to take things, you put things in one at a time and you take them back out. It's like packing a suitcase. You know, the stuff that you put in first is all the way at the bottom, and the stuff you put in last is at the top, and then you take them out in the reverse order. We're going to be doing that right here. So I'm going to take this directory, temp, and I'm going to push it, push D's for push directory. So now I'm back here to the terminal, and it looks like I've actually pushed the directory that I was already in because I did not write the entire set of instructions. So let me just do this. We'll do push D, and then I like ice cream. All right, now you see it's there along with I push temp twice, but we can ignore that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do push, uh, excuse me, print working directory. And we're in ice cream. That's what we want. And now we're going to, we're going to pop D. We're going to go back to where we were before. Or temp, I'm actually going to pop it one more time to get back to the first temp. We'll do print working directory just to make sure we know where we are. That's good. And now I'm going to push but not all the way. I'm going to push from to I is the first folder, and then like is the second. 
sorry, once again, made a mistake. I forgot to put the D on. So I'm going to do push D, push directory, I like. There we go. And so now you see I've got the two directories here. So it's got the, the one that I just barely pushed in right here. Tilde means my home folder, which is Bart on my Mac. And then the folder I created temp, and then the next folder that's nested in it is I and like is the next one after that. And this is the directory we were in that was the that was active before that, the temp directory. It's been pushed back a step. So anyhow, here we are now. We've got uh, temp to I like, and we've got uh, temp. So let's just print the working directory, and you'll see that we're in like. That's where we want to be. Now I'm going to push another directory in. Since ice cream is immediately within like, I can do this push. D, and I'm just going to put ice cream because that's right underneath like. You see, there's like right there. You see, there's temp, I like ice cream. So we're going to, we're in like right now. We're just going to go one more step to ice cream. I'm going to push that one in by doing this. And now you see, I have three directories piled in. This is the one that I just pushed in. So it's, it's again, it's the last one I put in. So it's, it's going to be the first one back out. So that's ice cream, and this is like, and this is temp. And you notice in each of them, it gives the complete address the, or the complete path down to my uh, root directory, my home directory, the tilde. So it starts at the tilde every time and goes out. Okay, so there we are now with a rather long list that gets us to here on Zed's instructions. Let's just do print the working directory, PWD. Okay, we're currently, currently in ice cream. By the way, this is the part that the tilde takes the place of, um, along with some other stuff like uh, Mac, the name of the hard drive and users and stuff. Okay, so now I'm right there. I'm going to pop out one directory. So right now I'm in ice cream. That's the one that I put right here. I'm gonna pop that out and go to the next one. So let's do pop, because we pushed it in and you pop it back out. Push, excuse me, pop D. And you see now, it shows you that we are in like, and that is the second one that was in the list. In fact, if I do the print working directory, there we are, we're in like, that's good. And then, um, let's see here, we got like and temp. We're gonna do, we did the print working directory. Let's pop one more out, pop D. And now you see we're back to where we were at the beginning. We've gone all the way back to this list, and I believe that we are, right here on this list. Okay, let's go to the next step here. We're gonna push a directory back in, push D, and we'll go all the way through to I like ice, ice cream. There we go, we pushed that one in. We're gonna push, now watch what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna push D without specifying anything else. This works on uh, Unix operating based systems, Unix based operating systems. So. Uh, Mac OS works and Linux works, but uh, if you're on a Windows PC and you're doing this with the PowerShell, this part won't work. But watch what it does. It's going to flip around these last two. It's going to take the current directory, which in this case is ice cream, and it's going to push it to second place in the list. Now you see, it was right here, and temp was second, but by doing that, it switched the first and the second. So now temp is first, ice cream is second, and you can tell that's my active working directory. If you want to confirm, you can do a print working directory, and there you are. Now let's just uh, push things out again. Let's flip it around one more time. Now we're back. This is the order that we had before we flipped things around. Okay, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. And we'll do a print working directory just to double check where we are. Anyhow, it's an easy way to go. I'm now going to bump all the way back to the root directory by doing uh, C, D. And there we are. And then uh, just one more thing. I'm going to clear out the console because it's pretty busy. I'm. You can either come up to, let's see here, you can either come up to edit and clear all. I'm just going to do the command K on my keyboard and that clears it out. Anyhow, that is push D and pop D for push directory and pop directory, a way to move temporarily to another directory, then come back to where you were. Thanks for watching.